It was really somewhat by happenstance that I got to go to UNH and I'm very fortunate that it worked out that way because UNH was just Valhalla to me. It was an opportunity to be finally off on my own, surrounded by enthusiastic people. I had some great teachers and Dr. Long was an American history teacher uh, and he was challenging. He didn't lecture, you know, he did a conversation in class. And he was just so vibrant. Um, I mean, you couldn't fall asleep in his class and you would never go not having done the reading. You would just die if he called on you and, and you didn't do the reading. I was honored to go back to UNH to deliver the commencement address. And I mentioned that my love of history and um, political science was largely because of that man. And don't you know, playing the recessional, walked by, I, out of the corner of my eye, I saw this man who looked like Dr. Long. I didn't know if the gentleman was still alive or not. And I turned around and he gave me this big smile. And I have to tell you, that was the best hug I ever had in my whole life. It was such, such a thrill. You know, UNH was a rah-rah school. <laughs> we, I was a cheerleader. We were, we were not ashamed to be gung-ho, as we used to say back then. And that's my personality, so I fit in that kind of world. Uh, it was a very different time. It was a time when, when girls really went to school, but didn't have very many opportunities outside of, uh, of their after school. When Natalie Jacobson first wanted to be a television reporter in the early 70s, she was not what they were looking for. She was a woman. I was the only woman at Channel 5 for two years. And in, in a non-administrative capacity. I'm Natalie Jacobson. I was the first woman in Boston to anchor the major newscast, 6 o'clock news. And I couldn't even get an interview to get a job three years before that. Uh, because I was a female. There was a different attitude then, and I mean, there's no, it's, just, it's not a knock on anybody, it's just how life is, life changes. I am just overwhelmed to know there are so many UNHers in our neighborhood. I would suggest to you young folks that you live in an exciting time, that you should really strain your brains and tap your networks and try to think in the world of information, in this huge information age, how do we hone it? How do we own it? How do we make it work for us and not against us? It's a tall order. I wish you well, and thank you for being here. Mm -hmm.